Let's get it going with Top That Trade. Joining us right now is Scott Bauer, the CEO of Prosper Trading Academy, filling in for Phil Flynn. Thanks so much, Scott. And Alan Nuckman, both are options trading pros. Good to have you here for our trader game. Here we go with round number one. New Year, same fears. After a December to remember, will the China concerns become an opportunity for investors? Well, we're two old traders. Now, we used to deal with acronyms. That would be our badges so people knew who we were. I've got two acronyms for 2019. So I'm looking at SOS. We have a sabotage of the problem so that it can solve it. I think that's what the president's going to do with China. So that sets us up for a PPP, which is price pop potential when that, uh, when that problem is solved. And I look to uh, actually fade pretty much every tweet, at least in the first month or two of the year, because, you know, if history is, an, is uh, any indication of what's going to happen in the future, that's what you have to do. Sell the rallies. Is it turned into a buy the dip market to sell the rallies dip, uh, sell the rallies. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what the next move is. Exactly. On the round number two, yen again, another multi-month high for that currency. What does that tell you? Did you even notice that? I, I actually did, and that, you know, it's all about risk aversion, right? right. I mean, the Japanese yen is, is is one of those commodities, you know, in the entire world, people run to when there's geopolitical concerns, when when the you know what is hitting the fan. That's why we're breaking out to new highs in the So end. it moved above 90, so that teaches about ceilings and floors. That was a ceiling forever, and finally when it got through 90, now that's acting as a support. But that's a great point, that these markets, believe it or not, are starting to act more normal than they have been. So we're seeing gold rally, we're seeing bonds move higher, and we're seeing uh, the yen all move higher uh, on these concerns. Perfect point, Alan. I was going to say the same thing about gold. You know, it was stagnant for the entire year, and then boom. But this is normal. Sudden, all of a sudden, this is back normal. to some normalcy. <laughs> Not sure I know what normal is anymore, but here we go with round number three, down dogs. Pick a play to pop in 2019. Well, we've got a litter, right? We've got a litter of <laughs> a dogs to one. pick from. Um, there were a handful of stocks in the Dow, if you want to look at picking for the dogs of the Dow. Uh, Goldman Sachs, I still think they should be able to figure things out. They're good traders. We've had market volatility. They make a lot of money, but for whatever reason, that stock has just been crushed. My stock is a makeup company, believe it or not. ST Lauder. Cody. Ah. Cody's stock has dropped from 20 down to 5. It's bottom out, got bullish divergence, made new lows, not new highs of volatility. So I think uh, I like that for the long term. That stock's down 60 some percent, the worst SP stock this year. Mine is not so much a dog, although it is well off its highs of just a couple months ago. Microsoft. Oh. Love Microsoft. That's not it, a dog. It is not a dog. <laughs> it, was, it was more of a puppy. Okay, it was more that of is a puppy best of breed. Over the, over the that last... is a best of breed. That was one of the best performers in 2018 for the Dow stocks. And that's what I look for in 2019. That Link wasn't the question. LinkedIn, gaming, and cloud. This cloud. stock is set to continue its yes. number one spot. They are a for, cash machine. For the overall top rated number one most valued company in the world. Here's your bonus round question for today. We all think we're so hip and trendy as we celebrate New Year's Eve, but true or false, the first New Year was actually celebrated 4,000 years ago. Oh no, now we're gonna get false. into these calendar questions. False. Uh, hang on. Well, were people on dinosaurs? No, oh, false. 8,000 8, years ago, so I'm I say 8,000. I'm going 57.75. 8,000 years ago, so I say false as well. Guys, it's absolutely true. Come on. Where does she, who, who facts checks her? Unbelievable, who good thing we're not on her? Jeopardy. We had, we had two chances and we were still both wrong. All right. Well, you're off to a good new year with your trades. Thanks for coming on the show. Business First AM continues right after this. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.